is peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Way yet, way yet, way yet, way yet. Now there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly. Hey, and this is another video from All Tech Tucks, and today I'm showing you how to uh, clear your password on any Windows operating system. What you need is uh, the zip file from offline NT password and registry editor, and you also need uh, magic ISO installed on your computer. I I can't show you the actual website because I don't have internet access at the moment, but once you've downloaded the thing off their website, the offline NT password and registry editor, it comes as a zip, so you open that up and then extract that to wherever. I'm using the desktop because it's easy to find. So here's your ISO file. Now we're going to mount it, which means it's like a virtual CD, which means this is good for people who don't have CD drives and it also runs faster than a CD and because neither of my computers have CD drives that work uh, we're using a bootable USB so you go mount CD blah 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 dot ISO then go to the H no media and it opens up as if it was a CD with all these files so now you've got to select them all right click and go copy then you go back to my computer and here's my empty USB and you right click and go paste you get an error for one file so you just press skip now what you got to do is you press Windows R which brings up the run uh, program then you type in you type in CMD enter then it brings up command prompt where you type we type, you find out what your uh, USB, what the drive letter is, which for me is G drive, as you can see there, right there. Alright, so you enter that into your command prompt, which is here. So you go G colon enter, and then that goes into the G directory where you type in syslinux.exe which means I'm pretty sure this part means it uh, makes it bootable and it boots that when you turn on your computer but it's syslinux.exe minus ma space g colon and you press enter and it just made another new g thing there which means it completed successfully so now you've got a bootable USB, so now you can take it out and put it into your computer that uh, you've forgotten your password to. You put it in, and so you're stuck on this screen where you have to put in your password and you don't know, so you press shut down, which turns off your computer. You can't just hold down the power off button, otherwise it won't work because it's a dirty shutdown, the program says. So now you turn it on and press F2 as soon as it lights up, which uh, takes you into the BIOS. You go across to the boot menu up there, which you just do by pressing right until you get to it. And you change with F and F5 and F6. You put your USB up to the top. Press F10 to F10 to save and exit. Now this means that it'll now boot from your USB before it boots from your hard drive. So it's up to this bit where you type in boot space no drivers. It does all this? It's loading up the program. Gets to this bit where you type in D enter. And you press enter again. Then it says what is the path to the registry directory where you just press enter because it has it pre-saved. 
Now it says password reset um, is number one for the code. Yeah. Uh, this is what you want, so you just that's all you have to worry about. You just press one, enter. Then it asks you what account you want to reset the password. So for me, it's Caius. So I type in Caius down there and press enter. Now it asks me what I want to do, and one is clear blank user password. So I want to clear the password, press 1 and enter. Uh, password cleared, it says that there. Now it says select uh, exclamation mark to quit, so I do that. Q for quit. Then write files, you press Y for yes. And then it's done. So now if you, pr you hold down the off button on your computer down there for me. and now you can boot into your computer so if I take out the USB so it doesn't boot from it again and press F2 I don't know if I got it in time no alright well anyway you can just change back the settings in the BIOS like you changed them before but op in the opposite and as you can see it will now boot into my computer. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, also check out my website. It's down in the description, the link to it. And I've also got a Facebook page if you want to look it up. Uh, just, yeah, so I'm booted in and it all works. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more help and technology stuff.